Hello family, today is April 21st and and I don't know what else I have to say. April 21st, Thursday, just finished work. Yes, yeah, can probably tell by my whole outfit and everything. Galaxy Line. I went to Superstore, got a couple things, got some food. I'll be showing you guys in a bit what I got. Open my doors here. Okay, so I got tons of food that I gotta bring home. Look at this little cat. I ran off. Got like two, three cats coming by now. Outside of like my own cats. Okay, so the food we got ourselves here. Some romaine lettuce. Gotta get them Caesar salads going. Got ourselves some apples. I love apples, guys. Trust me. Like, I don't talk about it much in my vlogs, but I got about here 24 apples. I eat about like two to three apples a day. Those are like my only treats, or I guess one of my only treats. Let's see here. Got some more stuff. I got myself Greek yogurt vanilla. I usually mix that with my granola. Here we also got some honey garlic, of course. The one and only honey garlic. I got two of them. I got one more ready to go. We also got here some... How am I forgetting what these are? Peppers. <laughs> got some sweet peppers here. I usually cut them up. Have them as a treat as well. So the vanilla, the... Peppers and the apples are considered treats to me, so like sweets and whatnot. Um, got here some broccoli for our meals. It's already cut up and everything. Then, this is the final one. Granola and sausage. So this is obviously high in sodium, but not high in carbs. So that's what I'll be having. Sorry about that thing getting in the way. It's actually my ID for my work. Um, here we got ourselves the club size sausage. I'll show you guys some of the nutritional facts. 308 calories per sausage, but I do burn a lot. And 26 grams of protein per sausage. Lots of fat though. I'm not going to lie about that. Lots of fat. Because <laughs> it is pork, right? Um, and this is like, I change up my meats, right? So I don't have sausage every day. It could, be, it could be ground beef, it could be regular just beef, um, it could be pork, it could be really chicken, it could be anything, fish. Uh, change it up, you know, so I get different types of meals and whatnot, so it's not so plain. Just another night here watching Survivor. Shout out to Jason and Ty. Ty is one of my favorites, so if you guys watch Survivor, let me know who's your favorite. Good morning guys, today's Saturday, April 23rd. It's 12 o'clock right now, and I just took a shower. I was playing some Destiny on my Xbox One. And then now, I'm gonna go make some breakfast. Check out first what we got to eat here today. I didn't make any meals yet, so I still have to do that as well. Not much, really, but. I might start off the day with a salad. Salad or, or my Italian sausages, these guys. Uh, I think for now, I'll just have some meat. I need to get some meat for breakfast. Usually people don't have meat for breakfast, but I'm gonna have some Italian sausage. Cook that or fry it or something. Yeah, I'm gonna make some Italian sausage. It's gonna be, I think three. Three of these bad boys. And then, a lot of water. A bunch of water, a lot of water. Because you gotta stay hydrated. I'll be hitting the gym today. I'll be doing some back and biceps. Uh, not abs today. Yesterday I did abs. I do abs every second day, so I still hit my abs. Mainly the lower abs, because I am trying to make those stand out for the competition itself. Um, all the other muscle groups, obviously, upper chest, shoulders, uh, upper back, you know, get that, um, that V shape, uh, the V taper, that's what it's called. Make those muscle groups stand out more towards the show itself. But really, I'm just gonna come in the best shape possible. Come in as cut as possible. You guys saw my five weeks out. It is now four weeks out. Is it four weeks out? Well, yeah, I guess today, because today's supposed to be the sh like Saturday is the show day. So I would, yeah, I'd say I'm four weeks and seven days. Four weeks, yeah, four weeks and six days out um, as of today. And I am looking really lean, really cut. I am holding a lot of sodium though, holding a lot of water because I am eating a lot of sodium. That sodium is gonna be cut down very soon here, guys. So I am almost, well, I am four weeks out now. It'll, I'll become leaner, uh, there'll be a little bit more vascularity. I'd look more cut, I'd look like I don't have as much water in me. And overall, it's gonna look a lot better when I cut down that sodium because I'm already cutting that carbs and I've been cutting the carbs for a long time now, which sucks because everybody loves carbs. Every food, almost every single food that is good has carbs or tastes good. 
uh, in my opinion, like chocolate, ice cream, all that good stuff. Not saying I didn't cheat here and there, but... <laughs> so I am going to try to come in the best shape as I can. Obviously, I can't build mass now because when you're in the cutting phase, you just can't build mass. It just doesn't work that way um, because of the nutrition you're eating, the way you're training. Um, you're just trying to get that vascularity look for the show itself. You should never try to bulk up four weeks out of a show. So for all those newbies or people or beginners, if you're cutting down for a show, don't expect to build muscle. You do look like you put on more muscle because you're getting more leaner and cut. And it's just that illusion. But really you're losing weight. You're um, not actually building any muscle whatsoever. You might actually lose a little bit of muscle because you're cutting down and having less nutrition or less meats or less... Well, you're having no carbs really, right? Well, you could still have some carbs, but not a lot. But your body is becoming more fit, leaner. For all those, yeah, beginners out there, don't expect to build any mass when you're cutting down. You can do the like clean bulk and all that but you still gain a little bit of fat and you don't really look as lean as if you just did a full shred and a full bulk right so I haven't really talked much as to my workouts so like how I've been hitting my muscles or how I've been training in general so I am doing one heavy set for every exercise I do almost every single exercise of course uh, towards the end I'm gonna do more so burning exercises or squeezing ones beginning I do more so compound movements so you still are hitting a lot more muscle groups than just one so for my compound movements I do do one heavy set but for every exercise you guys must know this I do a warm-up set mostly for form it's gonna be really really low weight it's gonna be really easy just get the form and kind of get the blood flowing in that muscle and know what you're working for that day or for that exercise after that I would do my heavy set either I would do a heavy set right away or I would work my way up like a pyramid, work my way up to the heaviest, and then work my way down. And then later on, after I do that, that would usually be for my first or second exercise. Uh, for my later exercises, I would do a warm-up set again, then a heavy set, then two or three working sets depending on the exercise, and include a drop set. Another thing I would do for some exercises, I would do three working sets with three drop sets. But it wouldn't be as crazy, so I wouldn't go to failure until the third set. With the other exercises, I would only go do failure, obviously, at the last set as well. It's good to go to failure, not in the very beginning, though, because then you won't be able to do other sets and really stimulate that muscle as much. It kind of tires you out for the whole workout itself, for my opinion, uh, in general. But, like, for instance, for biceps, uh, I'm going to be hitting two parts, because there's two parts of the biceps. So I do two exercises for one and two for the other. And then for the back, there's tons of parts, so you're going to have to do different types of exercises to hit different parts of that uh, muscle group that you work in. So the back, right, for that uh, sake, you're going to be hitting the back, you're going to have to hit lats. So I hit lats, two, three different exercises. I hit upper back, two, three exercises, lower back, maybe one or two. You got to hit every single part of your muscle. So uh, a lot of people don't know is they would do one or two exercises to say, oh, I'm hitting back. Well, you got to make sure you're hitting every single part of your back to really make sure it looks full, to really get that V taper, to get every single part of that muscle group. Because the thing is, if you look at uh, fitness models, men's physique, bodybuilders, they try to hit every single part of that muscle. And the reason why it looks so good, why those muscles look more, more so full, is because they hit every single part and they stimulate uh, all the fibers in the muscle. So you guys get the point, right? Hit every single part of your muscles. Don't just hit lagging parts, you have to hit of course, your good parts and the legging parts. So you have to hit every single part of your muscle. My training regimen, or whatever you guys want to call it, day one would be chest and triceps. Day two would be back and biceps. Day three would be shoulders and traps. Day four would be legs. And then fifth day would be a rest day. And for legs, I don't go as hard, but I do a 30 minute cardio session for that day as well. Uh, for my other days, I do about 12 to 15 minutes of cardio. Uh, I do about sprinting intervals, so HIIT training, and for me, for me, for my workouts, I do uh, abs every second day, so if I did abs on Monday, I would do abs on Wednesday, then I would do abs on Friday, you know, stuff like that, and I don't go as crazy on abs, so I can still work them, and they don't get too sore, and when you're cutting down, you don't really want to get too sore, because you're going to be doing high repetition, um, I know that Jeremy Buddha guy, he, men's physique uh, champion, he would actually do... Um, lots of circuits and he would do one time a week cardio but you do that for about 30 minutes and i'm pretty sure it was high intensity so hit training uh cardio for 
once a week really. So, but the thing is, he would do circuits. And the difference between circuits and working out is that circuits, your heart rate is always really high. You're always constantly moving. With my workouts, it's similar, but it's not really a circuit because I'm not doing, like a circuit is just a bunch of supersets, you could say. Um, but with mine, I try to stimulate that muscle still. So I train kind of the same way I would when I'm bulking, just not the same repetitions or the same weight. For me, I'm still keeping my heart rate high because my rest period is about 30 to 15, yeah, 30 to 15 uh, seconds. Obviously on the heavy set, I would take about 45 uh, just before it. After it, I could do 15, 30 seconds, right? So it all depending as to what you're doing and whatnot. But that's just my workout regimen. Um, you guys can take what you want from it. That's how I built it. I built it from other people's kind of the way they do they do things, and I kind of figured out what's best for me. So that's what you guys need to do. You got to figure out what's best for you. What's best for you to build muscle, mass, all that great stuff. Because really, all that matters is up to you guys. Don't just copy someone because you see, oh, they're big and all that. Really, find what's best for you, find what you feel is more comfortable or most comfortable with uh, building muscle and in general, kind of like a fun thing to do. Because the thing is, I find this fun. It's not a workout, it's not a job, it's something I like doing. And find what's best for you guys and you guys will enjoy as well. So this is just a little update as to how lean I am. This is the leanest I've ever been in my entire life and the biggest, well, I am bigger when I'm bulking obviously, but this is the leanest and biggest I've been in my entire life. So this is just a quick little update and this is only the beginning. today's breakfast we got ourselves two sweet peppers I just cut up man these things are awesome orange one is my favorite orange or yellow uh, green not so much and I got myself three Italian sausages yum yum and an apple that's the breakfast for you guys I know y'all myron myron my breakfast Like it's raining a little bit today. Oh, I'm oh, sorry about that, guys. As you can kind of tell, it's a little misty in there. Okay, let me get this tripod around. So, yeah, it's been raining. I just stayed home all day. Nothing really to do. I mean, no work, no, no, I uh, have to take care of anyone. It's a Saturday, so I just played Xbox 8. Xbox 8. So now I'm heading to the gym. Get me doing some back and biceps. Be doing lots of different exercises today, so I'll have to see how that is. And um, I'm not feeling the best for this workout. I don't think I ate enough nutrition and whatnot. But uh, I still got a workout. I still got a competition going. Um, it's just a little hard when you're not eating any carbs. You just feel more, not down, but like you don't feel as active because you get a lot of energy from carbohydrates, right? You can get some from protein, but not as much from carbo, from protein. See, I'm messing up already. <laughs> Not enough carbs. But anyways, going to the gym. So it's raining. It's pouring. Finished the gym. Did back and biceps. Didn't do anything else. Uh, it didn't feel like the best workout of mine. It's more so I didn't feel in the mood. Uh, I did everything that I need to do. So I did all the pulling exercises, all the pushing, there's no pushing. Well, I did every single pulling exercise. I hit my lats, hit my biceps. I hit my upper back, my lower back. I hit the outer bicep, the inner bicep. I hit every single part, I did all the exercises I needed to do. 
I just wasn't really I didn't feel motivated today I didn't feel I didn't have that energy or that um, that drive because the thing is you could do everything you, that you're supposed to do you could do all that stuff but if you don't have that drive you don't have that 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 emotion when you work out that aggress like you don't have to be super aggressive but you got to have some emotion when you work out you can't just going can't be going through the phases you know and and I was kind of going through the phases today so I did everything I needed to do I felt a pump and whatnot but if I had that energy if I had that emotion when I was working out it would have been a lot tougher of a workout my muscles would have been feeling it more you know so I'm not saying this workout was a waste because I still worked out uh, it was more so not as good as it could have been or as it should have been how are you doing kitty cat doing good that's what I come home to every day them licking themselves we got the other one. Drinking some milk. Got some good milk there. Oh, cat wants to be in the camera. <laughs> so the orange one is named Waffles, and this one is named Tigger. She's a girl, and that's a boy. So if you haven't realized already, the food I'm going to use today, or the meat, it's going to be sausage. If you haven't really saw from my breakfast. My brother got this new stuff. It's like... Synthesis, I think. It's like different flavors. Got a couple other proteins there. Arnold, Iron Away. This is the one I use right here. Those two black ones. That's what I use. Oh, I can't see if I can get it with one hand without dropping it. Uh oh, this is dangerous. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, we're good. Performance way. Yeah, holding it with like two fingers because. Holding the lens cap to performance way, you guys know which one I take. Ultra filtered concentrated whey protein complex. I will say this wrong, and you and I bet you guys know I say it wrong. Three uh glut I say glutamic. Wait, is it glutamic? Yeah, it's glutamic. I said yeah, I don't know why I keep saying that wrong in my other videos. Okay, so twenty two grams of protein, five grams of BCAs, and three grams of glutamic. Glut yeah, glutamic acid, <laughs> 50 servings. So I ended up making two meals. So I got another one of these bad guys. Downstairs is my fridge ready to eat. And I'm gonna show you guys quickly that I haven't shown Ashley, uh, and I was supposed to show my last vlog, as to a couple of the pictures I've taken with Soko Photo Haas. He's a great photographer. We took over, I believe now, over 2,000 pictures. So these are just gonna be about just a couple pictures out of 2,000 guys, so there's tons. Tons of pictures, so let me just take a look through here. Let's start with the first one. Actually, there's one more before this. So we got this one right here. I really like these first two. So this one. So I'm just going to go through it, so I'm not going to talk too much, so you guys could just look yourself. the last two uh those are actually or last three those uh costumes are from uh lewis mayhem uh she's a designer clothing designer in edmonton and then i here and i was using them kind of in the photo shoot you know trying new thing kind of looks more so barbarian style i think i already explained this in the last vlog you guys saw when i was trying it on and whatnot but i never showed the pictures yet so we took about 1500 pictures for that shoot that was about eight hours i was just doing uh, different types of uh, costumes and outfits. That was the hours, 1,500 pictures. The one before that with formal clothing, uh, we did about 700 pictures to 800. So there's tons of pictures for me to choose from and it would be good for my YouTube channel in general and for um, whatever I is I want to do with the modeling industry and my portfolio. So it's good to get out there and it's good to try new things in life in general, whether you know if you're going to make it or not. But always, guys, try new things, experience new things, and don't let anybody hold you back. So that's actually going to be the vlog for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. I know it wasn't as exciting as my other vlogs. I didn't do much this week. Uh, last week, I did take the pictures, so I showed you guys a bit of the pictures as to what I took and whatnot. But I did not, and as well, I did not record my workout. The reason why I did not record my workout is there was no one there to record with me. So I went by myself today, back in biceps, 
all that great stuff. But next time, next vlog, there will be a, rec a workout recorded, and I believe I'm going to record shoulder day. And I am working out shoulders tomorrow, so I am going to record that probably. And then I will show you guys how I hit my shoulders, and a really, really cool exercise to hit your rear delt, rear, no, side delt, that I found to be probably, probably the best uh, burning, size builder, anything you really want for your side delt. So you really get that wide look and get those big broad shoulders that everybody wants. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay lean, stay mean, stay aesthetic guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.